The year is 2025. You push a button, pay 50 bucks, and arrive in a new city in 15 minutes. So how'd you get there? Teleportation? Robo taxis with rocket thrusters? Two, one. Oh my God. Plot twist, it's C, flying cars. More specifically, air taxis. What the hell was that? Taxi cab. What do you mean a taxi cab? I thought we were flying. Precisely. People over at Morgan Stanley are predicting that urban air mobility will become a $1.5 trillion market by 2040. And Kathy Wood is so convinced that she scooped up about 3 million shares of Archer, one of the hottest stocks in this emerging space. Today, we'll explore five key reasons why Archer Aviation could become the Uber of air taxis by 2025. But Dave, what in the flying f is air mobility anyways? If you want to be in the know, be sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Hey there, Dave here. Billionaire investor Peter Thiel has a famous quote. He said, we wanted flying cars, instead we got 140 characters. I know I'm not the only one who has been excited about flying cars since watching Back to the Future 2 as a teenager. Could we finally be a couple of years away from the future that we've been dreaming of? Apparently so. The same technologies that are advancing electric cars today, like long-range batteries, self-driving, and robotic manufacturing, are going to help us travel by air faster, cheaper, and greener. Urban air mobility is this new mode of travel that is meant to do all of that, and particularly save time for people who live in cities. But do you know what else will save you a load of time? smashing the like button. That way the YouTube algorithm recommends more of these videos and you don't have to go searching for them. But back to the topic. In all fairness, urban air mobility already exists with private helicopters, but for the most part, only the ultra wealthy travel this way. So how are the so-called electric helicopters supposed to democratize urban air travel? Well, to answer that, we need to explore two main drivers behind this revolution. City growth. Our world population is growing by about 1% annually, and by 2030, there will be 8.5 billion people in the world. The UN and European Commission estimate that between 50 to 80% of the world is living in cities, and that number is only expected to increase as less people work in agriculture. Overpopulation as a whole has many negative consequences, but on a city level, a few of these include increased pollution, traffic congestion, and higher living costs. In one way or another, Archer is planning to solve each of these problems, or at least improve upon them. Transport electrification. Transportation is going all electric. By 2025, companies like Tesla, Neo, Lucid, Xping, and more will put 8.5 million EVs on the road. But what about in the air? That is where Archer swoops in. Archer is a part of a new class of aircraft called EVATALS, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. You and I might refer to them as flying cars. They're really kind of more like electric helicopters. They look a lot like a military drone or a giant DJI, but instead of carrying weapons or cameras, they'll be carrying you. This technology is still in its early stages though, so no, they're not going to be flying at hypersonic speeds and passing off as UFOs anytime soon. Did you see that? A UFO. Most of these electric aircraft only have about 95 miles of range. For context, the average helicopter is roughly 250 miles of range, and the top helicopters can fly over 1,000 miles on a single tank. But investors are still excited about EVATALS because they promise three benefits. Air travel with zero emissions, escaping traffic congestion, and cheaper flight costs. Thinking about long-term investments takes foresight, so any investor who's seeking growth needs to keep up with the latest trends and innovations. That way you can identify the next big thing and buy in for cheap before everybody else catches up. And if that's something that you'd like to do, you don't want to miss out on this. Trends by the hustle. It's a community of over 16,000 investors and futurists and entrepreneurs that you can network and collaborate with and learn from. There's even stories about members who have raised and started businesses worth millions of dollars by leveraging the trends research and community. You can check out this article about the hidden innovators of the exponential age. Take advantage of this special offer you can only get on my channel. Start your free seven day trial today and you'll automatically save 17% on your yearly subscription 
Go to trends.co slash Dave Hansen. That's trends.co slash Dave Hansen to start your free seven day trial and to save 17%. Another lesser known use case for trends is seeing who else is pursuing your business idea and spotting these competitors from miles away helps you be more strategic in developing your edge. The same way that Archer isn't the only player in electric aviation. Startups like Joby and Whisk, along with aerospace giants like Airbus and Boeing are all developing their own flying cars. So how does Archer plan to stay ahead of the pack? Archer's master plan. Archer's mission is to advance the benefits of sustainable air mobility. To do this, they laid out a three-step master plan. Build an aircraft to demonstrate the capabilities of Evital, certify an aircraft that is just as safe as commercial airliners, and launch commercial routes in cities and integrate autonomous systems for safety. Now, Archer is fully aware that this will take decades to achieve with a low chance of success, but so far they have some good things going for them. Here's how Archer is planning to swarm our skies by 2024. The business model. Archer's business model is to split up into two main revenue streams, Archer Direct, their manufacturing business, and Archer UAM, their ride-sharing business. For the next four years, Archer is going to be focused on Direct. This branch sells aircraft to organizations, for example, major airlines like United and government agencies like the U.S. Department of Defense. The whole purpose of Archer Direct is to finance the company until they finish developing their first air taxi, The Maker, in 2024. And in 2025, Archer plans to launch their first aerial ride-sharing business in the U.S., starting with Los Angeles, Dallas-Fort Worth, and Orlando. Once Archer is fully operational in the U.S. by 2027, they'll expand to Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Certifications. One of the biggest hurdles to creating a successful aerial ride-sharing business is to convince consumers that the aircraft is safe. Aside from redundant vehicle design, Archer wants to prove the safety of their electric aircraft with certificates of airworthiness. For reference, it costs hundreds of millions of dollars Damn! for commercial aircraft to get certified by the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. Archer is already underway with this FAA certification and should be approved by 2024. Not to mention, Archer is also getting certified by the Department of Defense for their military aircraft strategic partnerships. So far, Archer is the only electric aircraft company in the world that has both partnered with and sold products to a major airline. Their partnership with United has many benefits. It will speed up their FAA certification. It will enable them to use their maker for connecting flights. Archer will get help training their pilots and maintenance crews. And Archer's air taxis will go to market faster. Aside from United, Archer has signed a multi-year collaboration agreement with a major automotive manufacturer, Stellantis, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Technology. The Maker is Archer's proof of concept, so everything is riding on its success. In terms of specs, it's going to be capable of traveling 60 miles at 150 miles per hour, carrying four passengers and one pilot. It will have a number of redundant flight systems, batteries, and motors for safety. And at just 45 decibels, the Maker is 100 times quieter than a helicopter. It's even quieter than a household refrigerator. Dare I even say a robot maid. Rousey! Coming, sir. Here I am, sir. Yes, sir. Manufacturing. Much like Tesla, Archer is a vertically integrated EV company designing everything from the aircraft body, powertrain, and batteries to the flight control software. Once Archer launches its aerial ride-sharing business in 2024, they will need to ramp up manufacturing quickly to be able to capture a majority of the market share. And this is where their partnership with Stellantis begins to make sense. They already have a global footprint and economies of scale. And the partnership gives Archer access to key materials, low-cost suppliers, and their factory automation expertise. Autonomy. Between 2024 and 2027, Archer will also begin rolling out their autonomous vehicles. Even though the Maker is already being built with sensors and computers that enable it to fly autonomously, it's only doing autonomous test flights right now. Once the Maker is being piloted on a commercial scale between 2024 and 2026, 
Archer will collect the massive amounts of data they need to optimize their artificial intelligence. Archer expects to deploy their autonomous aircraft by 2027 with an onboard pilot to supervise it, and by 2028, Archer believes its aircraft will be able to fly without any pilot on board. This will free up a chair for an extra passenger and save on piloting costs and increase flight safety by removing human error. But if you ask me, I'd rather just get a Neuralink implant to be able to do this. Can you fly that thing? Let's go. No. Revenue. Out of the $1.5 trillion urban air mobility industry, $674 billion could come from ride sharing alone. Archer also claims that one of their aircraft will be able to perform 25 daily trips at an average distance of 25 miles per trip. At an estimated cost of $3.30 per seat mile, one of these flying cars could generate $2.4 million per year, and about half of that is pure profit. By 2025, Archer expects to break even and then generate more than $2 billion over the next five years. But how much revenue have they generated to date? Well, Archer recently merged with Atlas Crest in a SPAC deal to go public, valuing them at $3.8 billion. They'll be pocketing $1.1 billion from the deal to invest into R&D. Besides that, United Airlines has already ordered 200 aircraft from Archer worth a total of $1 billion. And at that order value, we can guesstimate that one vehicle goes for $50 million. Later down the line, Archer is also going to be exploring a number of other revenue sources like cargo for logistics and retail companies valued at $413 billion, military aircraft used for high-risk flight missions valued at $12 billion, and airlines for personal and business travel valued at $177 billion. The risks. Now, before you go running off with a wallet to buy some ACIC stock, Hold on for one second. You should take all of these projections with a grain of salt. I mean, Archer built these to pitch themselves to investors, so there's obviously some bias there. To give you a more balanced perspective, here are some of the biggest risks associated with Archer and, in some cases, all flying car startups. First, aviation is a capital-intensive business, so expect Archer to operate at a loss for the next five years at minimum. United Airlines is Archer's only client at the moment, and if for some reason that partnership is terminated, then all of their financial projections are out the window. Urban air mobility is an emerging industry that is still unproven. If for some reason people don't want to travel short distances by air, then all of these companies will go bust. And even if people embrace this technology, the companies are still dependent on laws and regulations to play catch up. And events like natural disasters and global pandemics could force this type of business to shut down for large periods of time. If one of these electric aircraft malfunctions or gets into an accident early on, it could destroy public confidence in the technology, much like the Hindenburg disaster did with airships. Oh, the humanity and all the best in Hopefully you liked this video and learned something new about Archer Aviation and urban air mobility and eVTOLs. And to sum things up, Archer has a few key advantages over other startups like Joby and Whisk and Lilium and Volocopter and Chang. There are a bunch of them, but Archer is pending US FAA and DOD certification. They plan to make their aircraft fully autonomous. They're vertically integrated with modular aircraft design. They have strategic partnerships with United Airlines and Stellantis. They've received the billion dollar purchase order. Their aircraft does 150 miles an hour, which is the upper range of EVATOLs. And before you click away, I do want your opinion on this. Will we see air taxis by 2025? What about autonomous aircraft by 2030? Let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget, subscribe, notifications, be in the know. That is the latest from here. I'm Dave Hansen. I will see you back there for the next Hey There Dave here.